In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add an end screen to your YouTube video. You can add it when you're uploading it, or you can add it later when you're editing it. And I'm going to show you both ways to do that. Here are a couple examples of end screens. This is one where a template is used, where the person has a background and they can just pull up that template. And then they just, this person stuck in a couple of videos. Here's another way that you can do it. You can just have a video moving in the background and I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, and here I added a playlist. I said, thanks for watching. And there's also the subscribe now button, which you don't really need to put that there, but most people I think by this point know that, but as you can see, the video is still moving and then the end screen is right there and nobody's talking. So there's different ways that you can do it. And I will show you those as we go through the video. You can add end screens when you're uploading your video and doing all the editing. And that's usually when I do it, but you can go back later and change them out or add to a video that you forgot to add it to. Basically, you're going to keep hitting this arrow key at the bottom. This one's uploading now. Um, I went ahead ahead of you and did the monetization and the ad suitability. It will not let you go to video elements until those two things are completed. So I, to save us time, I've done that. You're going to click here where it says add an end screen. Now you can import it from another video. Let's say you have a certain end screen that you like to use and you use the same one all the time. And I'll show you where that would work. Or you can each time add your own. I typically have done it both ways. So I'm going to add my own today. And what I like to do, the last 20 seconds of your video is where you can add an end screen. I like to keep my video moving. I used to use a card like the one that I showed you earlier, but I typically now will just keep something moving. I have an Amish channel that I use and I like to have something going on. Like if I do a video about chickens, I'll just have them, you know, walking around the field and playing or I might have my dogs. I just something there somebody can watch as they're looking at the screen. I am sometimes I'll put thanks for watching or a little note. But basically that's how I do it. I just have morphed into that. Um, you can add any element you want. I typically there are all these different templates here, but I typically just go up here and I usually will check a playlist. I like to add a playlist to the end. Um, so if it's about Amish uh let's say that it's sufficient living, um, then I would just hit that and the whole playlist would show up. Now, on this particular one, the video that I had, had a different playlist. So I guess that wasn't a good example. Um, but I also, you can also add other elements. You can add a video here and you can go in and pick which video. You can have the most recent upload and just keep that there and it will each time change. So every time somebody watches your video, they'll come and see your most recent uh, upload, which I think is pretty cool. You could put with that, you could put best for viewer and maybe I can move this one up and add that best for viewer as well. And we'll put that one right there. And you can also choose a specific video. I'm gonna choose a specific video and right here, it says test delete. Now notice what just said here. I put, I purposely uploaded a video that wasn't published yet because a lot of people have asked me what happens if I put a video in there that I haven't published yet. This is what will happen. It says this video is private. It will be replaced by another video if it isn't public or unlisted. So what will happen? Let's say in this video, which I'm actually going to add a video recommendation in my recommendations where I'm going to show you how to make a template using Canva. Well, that video is going to be created after this one. So you're going to see a link there and it may not be ready yet. So you're going to get some kind of a note telling you that, but then once it's published, then you'll be able to see it. Um, this happens when you have two videos where you want to recommend each one in each video. One of them is going to have to wait a week. So the, just so you know, you can put it there, but it won't publish right away. So you have the ability to play with this. Now, I told you 20 seconds at the end of the video. Let's say you don't want to leave it up that long and you want to shorten it. You can actually move this line. Oops, you can actually move each one of these. Let's go like that. Okay, and maybe bring it all the way in here and only do 10, 10 seconds. You can have them pop up at different times and just play with it and be a little bit creative. But you have the ability to do all of that in your video when you're adding the end screen. 
Now I want to show you how to go in and edit a video. I found a video that I hadn't put any end screen on and it just happens to be the one about the chickens. I just went in and opened one. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. You know how to edit. You hit your edit when you go into your content, open up a video under edit and then go to the end where it says end screens. Okay. And what you do, you're in edit and you're going to go down here on the right hand side, it says subtitles and then right here it's end screen and you're just editing. So it'll pop up right at 20 seconds to the end. Now on my video, I do have some words. I was talking still as it was playing. So I might not want to do the whole 20 seconds, but I'm going to go up here and add an element. And just to be different this time, I'm going to put the most recent upload and then I'm going to put best for viewer as well. So both of those will show. The neat thing is um, on this channel, I do talk about self-sufficient living and I talk about Amish lifestyle, living in the country and things like that. So really the best video for the viewer might be good because you're kind of pulling in different people. And then I would put it, like I said, I'm gonna move it over and maybe just put it for the last 10 seconds. Got to grab that video. There you go. Now that's a new feature. We it's been a while, but you had at first you weren't allowed to do that. You had to do the 20 seconds, and you didn't really have a choice. So there you go. I'm still talking, but then the another video is going to pop up, and you select save. Now I want to show you something. If you go outside of this line up here, it will not let you save. Um, let's let's try to add another element. I want to show you too what else can happen. Um, let's say I want to put a playlist and I accidentally overlap them. See how it's red and it's not going to let me save up here. So just move them where you want them and then it will work. If it says save, then you know everything's good. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to highlight it and just hit delete and then just use this one instead. Okay, so it's blue. It's ready to go. It says save at the top. Now I'm going to hit save and it's ready to go. And you can go back into any video and edit it and do that. And again, I just want to point out, you can be creative and do it the way that you want to do it. You do you, right? Um, you can use the template You that um, you can always have used the most recent video and best for viewer and have a template like this and just go in and hit that add button like I showed you earlier. And you don't have to keep making it over and over. It's always going to pick up what that viewer might want to watch, which is probably a good idea. Or like I showed you here, you can just kind of keep talking and get to the end of the video. Um, I have some movement on this one. You might be playing music with it and they can just kind of look at your end screen, listen to the music, watch the video and until they're finished watching. So be creative. It's fun. Actually, like I said, I don't do them all the same. I just try to change it up a bit so my viewer can see different things. I hope that was helpful. I've had a lot of questions about end screens, so I thought I would do a tutorial for you. If you have any questions, please ask below, and I'm happy to answer those for you.